Hello again. This is tutorial number 13 and today we'll be taking a look into some of the built-in uh, plugins that Community Builder 2.0 has. So let's just go to the plugin management area in the back end and we'll see a number of plugins. We're going to be looking at the CB Articles plugin right now. Uh, if we notice in the front end, if we visit, for example, the, let's just log in. Okay, I'm logging in as admin, and I'm going to the admin profile. And I'll see here, there's an articles tab, and it shows two. If I click on it. I basically see two articles that this user has authored in Joomla. So let's just go, we see basically the name of the article, which category and when it was created. So these are the three columns that appear. And there's also a search area. And if the articles are more than 10, there's paging enabled. Uh, let's just go to the back end again and look at the CB Articles plugin and click on it. We'll see that besides the global parameters, there's a parameters tab and there's two sub tabs general, which has a template and a class you can, uh, you can override here. Uh, there's only one template right now default. Maybe in an advanced tutorial, we'll show you how to create more templates here. Uh, articles sub tab has the model parameter and it's currently set to auto detect. If you click on this, we see there are two modes here, Joomla and K2. If somebody has installed K2 uh, on his website and uses K2 for his uh, website content, then you might want to select K2 here. We can leave it either at auto detect for our tutorial or Joomla. Let's just put it on Joomla. And once we select Joomla, it asks us if we want to exclude some categories. Uh, right now, if I click on it, I'll see that I basically have two categories here, one on categorized and another called website content. Let's just keep this the way it is. I'm not excluding anything. So save and close. Now, the CP Articles plugin also has a CP Articles tab, the Articles tab. And we see in the description here that this the Articles tab is basically associated with the CP Articles plugin. It's here. If we click on the Articles tab, again, besides the global tab parameters, there's some extra parameters here, which basically allow us to enable or disable paging. We can set the page limit. I mentioned 10, I guess the default is 15. And we can select either disable or enable the searching. So let's just keep this the way it is initially. Save and close. Now, I've created a new category here the uncategorized uh, category comes default with Joomla. I created a one called website content and I've created basically various articles here in Joomla. Website content one, two, three, four, and five. And I've actually assigned these articles to different authors. Antonis, Jennifer, John, Susan, and Paulina. So what this means, basically, if I go to the front end and look at my user list and click on Antonis, for example, I will see he has one article here, website article one. If I click on a different user, uh, Jennifer, we'll see she also has an article here website article two. 
and I can click on website article 2 and see the article okay or I can click on the website content to see all the articles that have been published in this Joomla category so this is a way basically to uh, allow your users to participate in your website and if they actually have uh, published article content other users can see what each user has published just by looking in the articles tab okay I think this is a first introduction on the uh, how the articles work the articles plugin works with community builder 2.0 uh, in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to link the author of a Joomla article back to the author's profile so basically right now we've shown you how to go from the articles tab to the article and in the next tutorial, we'll show the reverse, how to go from an article back to the uh, author profile. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.